Hi, I'm Pastor James and Wood, Senior, Senior Pastor of Life of Abundance Family Worship Center right here in Demopolis, Alabama, and you're on live with me on Living in Abundance. Our topic for today is how to focus on God and sports. This is an issue that's, 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 troubling, <laughs> that's troubling the nation right now on a, a, a battling between what God will be God. Uh, uh, sports, is a, sports, is, sports is awesome. I love sports myself. Sports is a great thing. It's good to be able to see the youth as well as the grown people that operate and, 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 and contend with them inside of these sports arenas. But we have to always, as children of the Lord, know that we are not to be pulled into these situations, that we'll be pulled out of position from who we are in the Lord. I have boys that play sports. I have, uh, and they're, they're, they're at a point where they, they, they enjoy it. But you have to manage sports and everyday living. Sports can open up doors for you that can take you to some of the highest peaks in life but it can give you some of the most tremendous downfalls that you'll ever experience in your life. So you have to learn to balance your life. You have to learn to keep yourself steady, paced, and focused all times on the Lord, even in the midst of going through what you're going through. Because we have to always remember that we are children of the Most High God. We're not children that can do what we want, when we want, and how we want to do it. We still have a God to, 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 to talk to, to um to get our, our, our pointers from and to, and, and to try to please in the same time being able to operate in these areas of life. So often in sports we find that we have our children going from here to there and everywhere running behind balls, running behind everything that they say that you need to do in order to, 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 to get your life to the next level of life and chasing after what, what, what someone spoke I guess a long time ago, the American dream and trying to make it there with ease. But we can be as, as, as prominent as we can possibly be on the, on the football field, on the diamond of a baseball uh, 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 facility, or in the inside of a, of a gymnasium with a basketball, or uh, uh, any area of life that we want to pick, any arena of sports that we want to pick. But we want to make sure that we keep our minds focused and stayed upon the name of, uh, on, the, on the Lord so that we don't get ourselves thrown out of position. In order to do this, we got to always make sure that as high as God takes us in the natural life, we got to give him just that much more spiritual uh, 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 praise and worship or, or spirituality in our life so that he can balance us out and we'll never get to a point where we're getting the big head for where it is that we are. Or we're, all, or we're in a down, depressed state because we're not where it is that we think we ought to be on the inside of these arenas. Uh, um, quite often, this 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 is a big big drag in, on the lives of, of of children, especially because they think that they have to live up to these to the high expectations that they will see on 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 the TV with some of the pro athletes or some of the college athletes in life. Everybody is not going to be an Odell Beckham. Everybody is not going to be a Drew Brees. Everybody is not going to grow up and be a LeBron James. No matter how hard you push them. They somebody, it, it, you only certain certain talents you only see once in a lifetime. Every so often you'll be able to see it. Your child may not be that person, so we don't want to put too much stress on our children to be what we think they ought to be, and not giving them an opportunity to be who they're going to be. 
one of the most important parts of life you'll find is failure in life because it's in your failures that you learn to meet God and you learn to, 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 to focus on something else other than where it is that you are, what you thought was, 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 should, have been, should have been key in your life. And all too often in life we lose out on these moments because we find ourselves trying to live up to the expectations of others or living up to, to, to high imaginations that we've set for ourselves that we can't live. And we want to make sure that we give our children the ultimate opportunity of being able to go as high as you possibly can in sports. But as parents, as leaders, being able to understand that, that, that even if you did get all you could get out of the sports arena, if there is no God in your life, if the Lord Jesus Christ is not Lord of your life, everything you get can crumble and become your worst nightmare, all because you got it in the wrong in the wrong place or in the wrong spirit or you let it drive you to a point where it became your God. Quite often you hear in the in the in the uh, in the pro uh, uh, arena that there are certain gods that look upon you. The basketball gods smiled upon you and gave you favor. Believe it or not, these people believe these things for real because this is where they are in life. Money, the Bible lets us know, answers all things in this life. But money and the love of money rather once you get to that point, you find yourself at an at a, at a evil place with the Lord. Evil begins to come out of it all because of the love you have of money. Money, the love of money rather, the Bible declares, is the root of all evil. And we want to make sure that we teach our children that though the Lord take you as high as you want to go, never forget that it was the Lord that took you there and not even your money. God gave you the talent that you have, but you want to make sure that the talent never becomes your God. Always keep God first and foremost in your everyday life. Hey, you're live with me, Pastor James M. Woods, living life in abundance.